Hi, welcome to the three minute what exercises can I do for carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome or CTS is a leading cause of numbness uh, in the middle three fingers including the thumb and affecting millions of people each year and many of those things can be causes can be so multi factors or so many different things of course we in the past have maybe discussed some night splints and things that carpal or, uh, things that uh, chiropractic can do to help with uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. Here, I want to give you some self-help, very empower or uh, very important things that can help empower you. First of all, we're going to use an acronym called Price, and that is P R I C E. That's protect, rest, ice, compress, and elevate. This will help you know, get you through the days, day and reduce some of the symptoms that are worsening. Of course, you're going to be using a, uh, a splint. Most of the people I hear use it or are using it at night because that's when they're feeling the most or if you're at work, reducing those stress factors. So let's take a look at four different exercises that you can do to improve or to help you take a little bit of proaction with the carpal tunnel syndrome. First of all, we're going to call it the fist, bear claw, and open wide hand. First, you're going to take and squeeze your fingers and thumbs together, such as this, if the carpal tunnel was in this, and squeeze as tightly as you can to what you can tolerate. Of course, all the exercises are to your tolerance. The next step is to do this, all of these things, in different speeds of slow, medium, and fast. So you'll go, start to begin to go slow. I'm going to start out with a slow position of the bear claw, like this, extending right at the knuckles, especially the large knuckles right into here, slowly opening each of those areas or fingers up and wide, spreading the fingers apart as you do this. And then finally going to an open wide position, making sure each finger is far apart. What happens is that the tunnel collapses in here, applying or pressure starts to exert on the median nerve. So this is one of the uh, position or exercises that you can do to help. Of course, going from fast, medium, and slow, em emphasizing you can do this five or ten times. Uh, make sure you do it on both sides so you can feel the difference of maybe your less symptomatic hand. The next one's called the church steeple. You'll go into what we call like a prayer position, touching the pads and thumbs together and fingertips. And eventually you're going to slowly, uh, starting out slowly so you can feel, make a church steeple. Spraying the fingers apart, spraying the hand apart, and then stretching the hand as well. All right. Third one is going to be the shake and flick. This is where you're taking the hand and shaking as if you're like drying your hands off after washing them, going like this. And you can do this, you know, with a slow or faster speed and any number of reps to loosen up both sides. You can do it at the same time. The other one is the, and last one is a forearm stretch. And I want you to do this where you place your arm out in front and simply taking the hand, extending the elbow straight out and the fingers pointed straight either up or down palm up first and then rotating and then just simply doing palm you know palm down as well you can hold this for about five to ten seconds repeat on both sides palm up and this is where you're going to be working the extensor as well as the flexor muscles and that'll help get a little bit of relief in there you can do palm down as well do this both sides or good side. Do this every hour, once an hour. You can do this when you're at work. And, but the repetition is one of the key things. Repeating, especially when you have a job that requires a lot of re repetitive activity and helping you so you can get through the day and stretching if that's uh, uh, aggravating or affecting the activity that you do have to do. Sometimes you have to change your activity at work or altering the speed or how your position or mechanics are. But if you still cannot gain control of the carpal tunnel syndrome condition, this may be time where you see a chiropractor and see, for a, or see if they can help or see for a safe and non-surgical approach. I'm Dr. David Warwick, your local Lacey Olympia chiropractor. I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you soon.